What's going on, everybody? I do apologize that I'm running late. Oh man, traffic was just—it was just crazy. It was a—it uh, was an accident. But without further ado, welcome back to the Learn Me While I Sip show. Uh, today we do have a special guest. Hold on, real quick, real quick. Let me get my. I forgot my glass. All right, everybody. Woo. All right, I got my glass. We have a special guest today. Her name is Antonise. She's coming from out of Florida. She's a master esthetician. Uh, she's the owner of Glam Beauty Bar and Spa. She's the founder of uh, FAT Girls Inc., which I think that's beautiful. I I'm I'm gonna have to go I'm gonna have to go to y'all next. Uh, I'm gonna have to go to y'all next event for sure. But um and also she's coming out of Florida. So I definitely gotta ask her some questions about that. Uh what's up everybody? Thank y'all for tuning in. This is the Learn Me While I Sip show. I'm your host, Ralph Cole. Once again, just thank you for uh thank all y'all for y'all support. And without further ado, let's get ready to bring our special guest on. Let's see where she go. She was just up here. She was just up here. Let me see. Jimmy. Hey, Hi. <laughs> how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you. Um, I was nervous about actually bringing you up here because like this is our first, because this is our first time meeting and everything, and like just just your energy and everything, like it's 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 so crazy. different. No, no, cause you you remind <laughs> me of my cousins and stuff. So, <laughs> but that's how good you thing. So I'm like family. Yeah, you my cousin. You my kin folk. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> so, so real quick, uh, let the people know who you are. Let the people know why you're so amazing. Oh, okay. Um, my name is Antonise. I am the owner of the Glam Beauty Bar and Spa down in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, I have been a licensed esthetician now for six years. Um, I've owned my own business for almost two years. Um, and I think I'm so well. I'm amazing because you know that's the way God made me. But. They, they um, <laughs> and I specialize in corrective skincare for African Americans. Um, that's my specialty. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm amazing for a lot of reasons. Like y'all gonna find out why I'm amazing. One of the reasons why I'm amazing is I don't drink wine. I don't drink, right? So I was like, I'm gonna just get on here with my little sweet tea. Hey, that's what it's about. Wait, but we gotta no, no, I've been wanting to try Stella Rosa, so I got this just for you. See, I show. Sure I got my glass. I'm ready. You know what? I'm see, ready. see that, and and see exactly, exactly that right there is why I was nervous about anything. <laughs> that exactly right there. Yeah, you, I, you, I you, showed you. up. I said, "Well, I'm gonna get this. I've been wanting to try me some Stella Rosa, so let me grab this and let me get on here and sip while y'all learn me." Okay. That is. I appreciate it. I definitely appreciate it. So I'm on this. Uh, how do you pronounce that? <laughs> That's like some red wine. You got red wine over there? It's a red wine. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it at that. We're going to we'll keep it at that. That's good enough. That's all they need to know. Exactly. I don't that know. That is red it. wine. So it's all right. So let's, so let's start off the show with a okay. toast. I appreciate, I, appreciate, I appreciate you coming on. It's an honor for me and everything. And I just definitely appreciate you so much. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad, I'm glad you invited me. I, I'm, thank you for having me. No problem. No problem at all. So my first first question to you, and everything, just to, just to start off the move, is it true that people in Florida is crazy? Definitely. Okay. We're we're a little touch, we're a little special. Where you at, Ralph Cole? I'm from North Carolina, but I'm in Seattle. Okay. Ooh, long way from home. I'm moving back later on this year. Okay. A lot of rain. 
lot of lot of lot of no sunny days. See, we, we used to sunny days down here. Right. We you know, we used to a little sunlight and things. And from what I hear, ain't no sunny days over there in Seattle. You know what? People say that people say that it rained a lot over here. Uh-huh. But it ain't nowhere near like the East Coast rain. Okay. Like over here it's like real misty type mm. type rain. And that's it. Just gray skies all the time. Okay. But like like hot rain in the south and on the east coast, like mm -hmm. that like hot, thick, heavy pull rain. Down, that pull down. Yeah, it ain't that. Okay. It ain't that at all. At all whatsoever. How, uh, how how has people been reacting like down there since everybody's stuck in the house? Well, we've been doing pretty good. I think um, they actually let us off of lockdown today. Um, last oh. Monday, they opened back up restaurants and different things like that that can be at 25% capacity. As of today, our salons and all of that open back up. Um, okay. So we can start by taking clients and things today. Um, I'm not really... I have to be very careful when I say this. On your phone froze. Can you hear me? On I see froze, you just fine. Froze. Okay, you back. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see you just fine. Um, yeah, I don't really believe the hype. Like, I stayed in the house more than, but as long as they got Walmart open and you can walk in and out of Walmart with no right. problem, like, I think that's like, they need to, that's the main thing that needs to be closed. Yeah. So I'm glad that they're incorporating, you know, working it back in, you know, a little bit at a time, letting us get back to work. Cause some of us, you know, that's people only source of income. So it's like, yeah. and I understand that everybody needs to stay safe. I get it. I do. Mm -hmm. But if I think that salons and things are a more controlled environment, I can control who's coming in here and who's going out of here. I can control that I'm only going to have one person in here at a time and things like that. You can't right. control that at the mall. Right. That's true. But they opened all that back up last week. So they opened the salons and stuff back up this week. So I guess they're doing they're doing it in phases is what they call. So we were part of phase two. Let me let me try this. Oh, what is it? Oh, I actually kinda like that. Okay. Okay, we in there. Okay. We in there. <laughs> That's the stellar yeah, rose of peach there yeah, that I'm trying. Hey, yeah, this... I actually kinda like that. So so that means that this is an exclusive uh episode then. Right. First time on yep. the wine. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um I know I know that I know that for us over here in Washington, uh mm -hmm. we were supposed to open up on the fifth. Okay. But then they cut but then they pushed it back to like the end of this month until like June. So I'm just I'm just over here like, man, like a whole nother month. A whole so. nother month, yeah. And that's scary, like what scared like the whole shutdown thing from the first beginning. When they started sharing shirt now, I was like, okay, here's the thing that scares me, not knowing when you can open back up. That's like, if it, was, if it was for sure, okay, close down for 14 days or close down for 30 days, but don't get me to 30 days and then say, okay, I need 30 more days and I need exactly. 30 more days. Because at some point, it's like, and I don't know about how nobody else is really like, but I'm more scared of being broke than I am of COVID-19, okay? I've been broke before. I know what it feels like to be broke, you know? Right. And I don't want to feel COVID-19, but I know that feeling, and that's not a feeling that feels good, you know? Right. So I don't exactly. want to, so that, that's, that is scary for a lot of people. And $1,200 stimulus checks ain't going to cut it. Exactly. At all, so, for nobody. For nobody. Especially if you own a business. Right. Unless you learn, like, one of the, one of the things that I have learned during this time is how to revamp my business how to run my business in a different manner and still make at least close. Well, like April, I had like a, huh, I had like a, a, a mind blowing month in April. Um, I ended up doing really, really good. Um, I set my goal for 20 K. I ended up making 22,000 in the month of April. Okay. And that was just really kind of like strategizing, figuring out, I started doing classes. I started um, pushing my products more. And so that really like helped my business and it made people more aware of my business and my brand. So when it's right. open, when I'm opening back up, like more people are ready to come to the appointments. They trust me now. They've tried out the products that I've suggested for them. Those products were good. They trust me. So they're ready to come and, you know, have do services with me. So that was a good thing for me. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, congratulations on that for sure. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let me ask you this. This time four years ago. Oh, Oh, four years ago. May, May 2016. 
What about it? Four I, years ago. Yeah, four four years ago, May 2016, uh, you said that there was a pivotal moment in your life to where you took your life from going from like job to job mm -hmm. to now focusing on like putting full effort into your business. Mm -hmm. So what what sparked you to what was it that made you decide to make that choice? Um, well, this is what happened. So, um, I went. I finished esthetician school in 2014. So when I went to esthetician school, um, I went to do makeup. I thought I wanted to be a makeup artist. Um, I never went for skincare. I don't even think I knew anything about skincare when I went to esthetician school. Um, skincare was not a big thing back then. Six years ago, we talking. It was for white people. Like, I'm going to be honest, like, that was something that white people did. That was not something that was very common with African-Americans. Right. I went to school to do makeup. And let me tell you about this, this story. I tell people this story because I just have to let people know you just never know how you're going to find your passion. Okay? Right. So my baby daddy used to cheat on me with this girl all the time, right? This girl knew how to cook crabs. Hey, this girl knew how to cook crabs. And she used to cook crabs all the time, and she used to wear makeup. So in my mind, it had to be that she knew how to cook crabs and she wore makeup. That's the only reason why he keeps cheating on me, you know? So I, I got a mean crab recipe. Oh, huh. I learned how to cook crabs and I learned how to do makeup. So I yeah. was a makeup artist. Mind you, before this time, jobs <laughs> was just never really my thing. You know, I would right. go on lunch break and not come by. Right, I was right, right. To, you know, like, so jobs just weren't for me. So yeah. I'm like, okay, well, damn, that worked out because I could do makeup. I could work for my own self. So I went to aesthetic school to learn how to do makeup. I found out that you need a make you need an esthetician license to do makeup. So okay, I'm gonna go to school. I'm gonna do things the right way. When I got there, we had one class. It was 45 minutes. You had a piece of paper. You had to fill in the blush with a crayon. Fill in the eyeshadow with the breeze through. So I'm like, okay, wait. They told me they was gonna teach me how to do makeup. That's all. Like, oh, that was it. That was your makeup lesson. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. But while I was there, I fell in love with skincare. You know, you have to do your little clinicals and all of that. So I started to, like, find out about different diseases and disorders of the skin, different levels of the skin, and different stuff like that. So, you know, that came, I love skincare. I still did not know that that was what I was going to do. Um, when I got out of school, I started working in a nail shop. I was doing lashes and brows in there because, again, skincare was not something that was important to black people. They want their lashes and their nails done. They want their lashes and their brows. So I'm doing what people want, you know? Right. Um, I was charging thirty five dollars for facials. Um, wow. right. <laughs> I was charging thirty five dollars for a full hour long facial. Wow, that's crazy. Thirty five dollars for the same facial I charge one hundred and fifty dollars for now. But it was I didn't know like I didn't know, and I tell people all the time like you have to know your you they like you got to know your worth. Like, you got to know that what you're giving them is a good service. But I did not know that at the time. I didn't think that people would be interested in it. I didn't think that people would want it. So it was not something that was, that I, why would I be pushing this on somebody? They want their lashes and their nails, their lashes and their brows done. So I'm going to do their lashes and their brows. If they add on this $35 facial, that's good for me. If they don't, oh, well, that, that was the kind of way I treated it. Um, so I did facial lashes and brows and stuff like that for about two years. Actually, in 2014, I got with a company, I mean, in 2016, I got with a company called It Works. Um, it's a network marketing company, sort of, so I know everybody's seeing TLC now. It was, it's been like TLC, um, company that's been around for a long time. And honestly, that network marketing company, it taught me how to run a business. I did that for about two years. So I stopped actually doing skincare when I started doing that because I was doing a lot of traveling. I was doing really well with that. So I didn't have time for skincare. Right. Um, after I did that for about two years, it was just to a point to where I didn't want to be known for the It Works girl. I wanted to really have something that was mine, that I was building, that I was, and like I prayed to ask God, like, okay, what is it that you want me to do? Like, mm -hmm. send me a sign, like, I don't know what to do. I, at that point, it was like I hadn't even thought about facials. And that week, three different people asked me, well, when are you going to start by doing facials? I was like, oh, shoot. I started by doing facials. Um, I started in the back of my friend's barbershop in 2018. September of 2018, Sep um, March of 2019, I moved into my own building. I opened up my own business. Um, and here I am today. Like right now, I'm currently waiting on my new lease for my new building. Like mm -hmm. I've grown out of my building that I moved into and I'm moving into a new building. So right. four years ago, my life was very different from, it is, from what it is now. 
Like I still did not know the value of skincare. I did not know the value of my business. I did not know where this could take me. I did not know like, and it was, it was, I was devaluing myself because I, I didn't know out of ignorance. I didn't know. And I didn't think that skincare was important to anybody, but honestly, I wasn't making it important to them. Like now it's the thing of like, I make, I make sure you know, hey, you need some clinical tone moisturizer. Right, like you right. can't be, I just got to phone my friend. I'm like, girl, we can't be friends. And people know you my friend and you walk around with your skin looking like that. Like, no, we got to do something like that. So, right. you know, you have to make people see that it is important. Right. So, yeah, right. that was a very different time than now. Jesus. You know, you know I, I got I to gotta point out, I got to point out something that you just said that I feel like is very, like, people within like the black community we don't we don't really look at stuff like that to where like it's something that's new that you bring in with your skincare mm -hmm. and you know a lot of our people you know just you know throw some coconut oil up there or something like that just call Ooh, it that coconut table. oil and that dove soap baby that exactly. dove soap right with some, with, with some with, with some uh witch hazel with some witch hazel and everything. <laughs> that's it <laughs> but uh um, but it's something that you said as far as you included everybody that's around you in order to make that change to where mm -hmm. you you looked at it to where okay if i see the importance in skincare and if this is where i want my new business to go toward then that means that everybody around me and everything needs to benefit off of this right you know and then you was the one that made that change and i feel mm -hmm. like a lot of times in our community we got a lot of people that's scared to do something that's different mm -hmm. and they try to go outside of our community to try to make it happen and then bring it back rather than making that change from inside out i think one of the things that helps me with that um i don't know if you know this or not but i'm six feet one so i'm mm. six feet tall. so i've always been different i don't mind being different um, I've always stuck out like a sore thumb. I've always been so that that is my thing. Like I, that's that's my thing. Like I don't like to fit in. I'm I'm good over here. So okay. that was the thing when I started. Like I say, when I when I actually really even two years ago when I started by doing facials, it was not that popular. People were not doing it. A lot of people have are getting into skincare now. We have a lot of estheticians that are coming into, but then you just have to find something that. Like, I don't want my people, like, so many times people come to me and they say, oh, it's so hard for me to find a bad esthetician. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's why I'm here. I don't want them to feel like they got to go somewhere else. So I cater. A lot of times people have told me, like, hey, you need to add some different faces and different things to your website and to your Instagram. And I refuse to do that because that's not what. Now, don't get me wrong. If somebody outside my race decides to come to me to get their skin done, to get a treatment, I can treat them just as well. But right. as for me, I specialize in what we need for my people. They can't go right. anywhere and get their skin done. You can. You can go right. to the massage envies. You can go to the, you know, the massage heights, all that different stuff, hand and stones and all that. They can't right. go there and think and come out with a treatment that's going to really be good for them. You right. know, them people in there winging it. So, and I don't want them to feel like they got to go somewhere where somebody's winging it. No, I want you to know that when you walk in here, that I'm here for you. Exactly. So, exactly. yeah, so that's exactly. really big for me. That's really big for me. Exactly. That's good. That's good. So um, I do see that you have, because I was going to ask you, like, what's some of your, like, favorite services to do? Mm -hmm. but, I, but I do see that you got a personal favorite service of mine, even though I just graduated from school in uh, March. Okay. So literally the week that I graduated was the same week that everything started to shut down. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's like, you know, for me actually getting the hands on experience outside of school that I would like to, even though I'm a licensed barber and I do got my own barber studio. Okay. It's like, man, I'm missing out on so much. But uh, while I was in school, one of my favorite services was dermaplaning. Mm -hmm. so, so I do see that you do got a, a dermaplaning certification uh, class coming up on May 10th. Right. On so, May 24th. I think it's on May 24th. Think May 24th, which is next, not two Sundays from now. Um, okay. I have that class coming up, and I also have a chemical pill coming up. Those probably are my two right. favorite services. Um, and I like each one of them because I like to give my clients, I like them to have instant gratification, and I also like for them to be able to see results once they leave me. But right. during planning, you know, the texture that that skin changes, change um, that day. hair, oh my God, their skin is yes. glowing. Their skin is going to soak in those products. Those products are going to soak in. Like, that makes them feel good. And that is my thing. Like, I like for them to be able to see that they are getting their money's worth. <clears throat> you leave out of here today, um, you, you want, I want you to know that, okay, I'm going back to her in two weeks because 
this is how she made me feel. So that dumb plan of certification it is online. I'm um, actually what, you're here what's, in Jacksonville. What's what's the date for that again? It's gonna be um May twenty fourth. Okay. Now is 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 the chemical pill one still on the thirty first? Yes. Okay. Chemical pill is on the thirty first, but drama planning is on the twenty fourth. Okay. Um, and with both of those classes, they're online. But now since we're back open, I'm gonna if you're here in Jacksonville, Florida, you can take it in person. I just can't have like a whole bunch of people, so I'm doing it online, and I'm giving some of the um people here options to actually do it in person. And for the people who are doing it online, a lot of people are worried about like how they're gonna get their hands on training. And what I'm doing with that is. After the training is over, I'm going to get with them. You get a 30-minute session with me. You just have your models there. We'll be on live, I mean, online on Zoom. And I'm going to walk you through. Like, you'll, you're already being on saw me do it and mm -hmm. practice on the things like that. And then you'll have your model. And I can walk you through how to actually perform that service. Okay. Nice. So, nice. yeah, so that's how I do, I do my online trainings. Um, and I'm very excited about that. Like, I've done, this is my third derma planning training. This is the first time I've done chemical peel. I was a little more hesitant about doing chemical pills because it's just so many different brands you can work with and so many different um, treatments that you can give with a chemical pill. But I think right. I kind of got it narrowed down now, so I'm, I'm really prepared for that. That's good. How, how, long, how long did it take you to, like, like put each class together? Um, dermal planning was fairly easy for me. And I think dermal planning was easier for me because I actually took a dermal planning training. When I started doing chemical pills, I was winging it. Um, but the good Lord was on my side. Um... <laughs> I started, I did like a train, like an online training for chemical pills. Yeah. But they was training on white people. And you know, that's, that's not the same. Um, yeah, but well. once I started doing it, I started learning about different companies. I was able to start with a company um, that the pills weren't that strong. So I was able to see like what different pills, like I was self-taught with that. But with dermal planning, I actually took a dermal planning training. So I was able to see, okay, this is the things that they need to discuss. What did they not tell me that I think somebody else should know? Because I'm big on right. that, like, what I didn't learn that I think you need to know. I right. want to make sure that I don't miss nothing. So this is what they didn't tell me type of thing. Right. So, yeah, so they, um, the dumb thing class, I put that one together fairly easy. The chemical pill class, like I said, this is my first one because I have been trying. I didn't want, I don't like to give people a lot of fluff. Like, mm. I like to get down to the nitty gritty. This is what you need right. to know. That why like, that don't matter. Like, it's okay if you know that, but that don't matter. This is what right. you need to know to give successful services. Because right. that's what, you know, like, I don't need all that extra stuff right. we don't need that you know uh it's it's crazy because uh for my for my school program we went through a whole year and this is so like me going into it i did not know how much like science and how much like stuff goes into it and i'm like mm -hmm. this is hot. Cause I, I still gotta take my uh i still gotta take my state boards but whenever whenever they do open up uh -huh. but i'm like yo it's so much and it's like it's it's real easy to forget a lot of stuff, especially mm -hmm. if you're not constantly doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like you know, I'm for me, I'm just I'm just excited to go ahead and like you know get into a place, especially like when I get there to North Carolina. Uh huh. I'm just ready to go ahead and start take off running. Oh yeah. wow! And so you you did the the program in Seattle. Yeah. And you said it took a year. Yeah, I did a master. How many I did hours? A master, I did a master esthetician course. Okay, how many hours is that program? Well. 1200 listen <laughs> so down here in the great state of florida <laughs> our estates program is 260 hours we don't have a master's program we have a basic 260 hour eight week aesthetics program Ooh. no state board Ooh. right down here in the great state of florida <laughs> like oh. I actually went to school for five months because I did um full specialty. So I have a nail and skin license. I actually have a skin, nail, and a massage license. Um, but yeah, when I did my skin license, I did skin and nail at the same time. So it was a total of five months, 600 hours or something like that. That's crazy. Real, real <laughs> quick, whoever is watching, write down in the comments what state y'all tuning in from. But um, so that means that I'm finna, because I'm going to get, like after I take my state boards, I'll be licensed in Washington. Uh, uh, it it transfers to North Carolina. So what you're saying is I should go ahead and get a license in Florida too. So then when I come down there and visit you, we can kind of like do some hands-on stuff together. Hey, hey, I'm giving you the information. You do what you will with it, okay? 
206 hours. Like, if we go anywhere else, I think we have to actually go back to school in every other state. Like, I haven't found any other state that um, requires the amount of hours or less than us. Because I think Georgia is even 1,200 hours. Yeah. In Georgia? Yeah, I believe so. Hmm. So it's hard That's to crazy. transfer a Florida license to any other state because most states make you take a state board and we don't. Right. Right. Wow, that's that's crazy. That's yeah. that's crazy. I never I never knew that at all. And so, I, uh, I really want to do a master's program. Um, yeah. Georgia has one. That's why I was looking into theirs because I was gonna like we're in Jacksonville. So honestly, Georgia is depending on what side of the town you stay on, good mm -hmm. twenty forty five minutes away. You'll be yeah. in Georgia. So I was trying to find a program that was like right on the border of Georgia and just like kind of start going there for one to get my license in Georgia. Hold on, I'm looking at my window. Somebody pulling up in my yard. Oh, they turning around. Okay, um, for one, to get my license in Georgia, because I do plan on expanding, um, and for two, because I, I want to have like a master esthetician, which I feel like at this point, I'm always a student. Like, I'm always willing to learn. Like, I've taken, at this point, I've probably taken three different um, chemical peel classes. I've taken two different dermal planning certifications. I've taken, I always, because somebody always can teach me something that I don't know. And right. everybody's teaching style is different. Like I said, there's so much stuff for you to learn about chemical pills. And every chemical pill course that I've taken, I've learned something different that no one told me in the other classes before. Right. So right. I'm looking into that. Um, I really don't feel like going back to school right now. Like, no. Yeah. <sighs> no. That's and especially with these kids being homeschooled, I got a son that's in the 10th grade. And yeah. yeah, no, I ain't going back to school no time soon. That's That's not happening. So. But yeah, in the future, maybe. Hey, I understand that that is a lot of time to take up. Yeah. So, uh, so, so, what what would you say like the number one thing that keeps you motivated? Um, I like to make people feel good. Mm. So when I do these transformations on their skin, when they get up on my table and they feel their skin, and they tell me how it feels when they use these products and they see me and she's like, "Oh my God, my skin feels good." That makes me feel good. Right. So that's the thing that keeps me like. That's, that keeps me in the game, like knowing that I'm helping somebody. Like so many people have low self-esteem because of how their skin look. And right. a lot of times they don't know they got low self-esteem because of how their skin look because they cover it up with makeup and stuff. They right. will slap right. some a covering over something and go on my business and think that it's fine. But you can't even walk outside without makeup on. Like I don't want you to have to live your life like that. So to know that I'm helping somebody um, be a better version of themselves, that, that makes me feel good. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. And and that's the same for me. You know, I'm I'm definitely like result driven. And I just mm -hmm. like people to just come and just like experience a good time. Right. You know, like I, I tell people this, especially as a barber, like they can go anywhere to get a haircut, but they can't go anywhere to get a, a good experience. Right. And that's and that's, and that's everything. Thing. Exactly. That's, mm -hmm. that's 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 the number one thing that people are gonna uh keep coming back for is the experience. Treat me good. With, you treat me good, you treat me good, you giving me results. I'm exactly. not gonna mind paying you, and I'm gonna keep showing up. Exactly, exactly. Real quick for everybody that's tuning in, thank y'all. This is the Learn Me While I Sip show, um, and I'm up here with Antonise. She's coming from out of Florida. We sipping on wine. She's sipping on uh, what is that again? I got the Stella Rosa Peach over here. She's got the Stella Rosa Peach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, so a question for you: When was the last time you told yourself you love yourself? I tell myself that every day. I am big on affirmations. That's good. Every morning I speak positivity into my life. I tell myself that I am beautiful. I love myself. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am strong and I can face the day. And that is one of the things that helps me. Like I, I'm a very emotional person. Like I run off emotions and I'm in therapy yeah. for that right now because I don't want to let my emotions control me. Right. So, um, and one of the things that have been a help with that is making sure that I tell myself the things that I need to hear. Right. So I speak those things over myself daily, sometimes several times a day, because people be trying to push me over the edge, okay? You can't let them do so, it. Right. So and sometimes several times a day. That's good. That's good. I actually just uh, got a marker and, and started like writing down on my mirror, mm -hmm. like affirmations and stuff, because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm big on that too. And also that's something that I do tell my daughter that every morning, tell yourself you're beautiful. And tell yourself that you love yourself. And mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like we need to do that more, especially like in the black community. I think that's something that we don't learn. And I, I think that that causes us a lot of problems yeah. out in the world because we don't love ourselves, so it's hard for us to love other people. 
And that takes us down a whole nother road, you know? That's, that's, a, so, whole, that's a whole rabbit yeah. hole by itself. Yeah. So. <laughs> so well, that's that's definitely good that you uh, do that. Also, every, everybody that's watching, make sure that you tell yourself that you love yourself every day, too. It's something that's definitely important in everything. So, um, so I do want to move to a segment that I love. And also the guest that comes up here, sometimes they love it. Oh, Lord. A lot of times they get embarrassed like an oh no moment, but it's called explain <laughs> that post. So, oh, uh, God. <laughs> so you do, you did I have a lot of. Go back on my, wait a minute, wait a minute. This ain't fair. <laughs> this ain't fair, this ain't fair, this ain't fair. How far did you go back on my page now before we. I mean, you did. You did have about three thousand posts. So it was a lot. Know. I know, and yeah, I needed was, like three thousand of them. Yeah. So I, I got. Around. Yeah. So I. I got. I got. I got a couple of them. I got a couple. Mm. Of them. But I got three. I got three. <laughs> I got three. Oh, uh, real quick. Um, for the people that's watching. Um. I I just want to turn this into like a whole trial, like a learn, like the learn me while I sip crew or something like that. But. She ready, she nervous, and I love this part. I love You got me on the edge of my seat. Part. Let me see. Here we go. Which <laughs> one am I gonna go with first? Hold on real quick. Hey, my other phone. I could have swore. Drink me some more wine. Phone. I gotta get ready for you. <laughs> Real quick, hey, my other phone. I could have swore. Drink me some more wine. Phone. I gotta get ready for you. <laughs> you gonna? It froze. What you did? Right. You froze it. Yeah, okay, you back. I'm back. Can you, can you see me? Can you hear yeah. me? Mm -hmm. All right. So first one. Is what's <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? That's where you started, huh? Um. First it's of all, let me tell folks. you. Let me tell you, I part this, baby. Let me tell you, I part this. That in that cup is probably cranberry juice or pineapple juice, something. Because mind you, I don't drink. Yeah. But wherever I go, I part this. And that, that is, explain this post. I part this. We call it. We That's call what it's all about. Down here, so I twirl, honey. <laughs> oh, look, when I when I seen they this picture, I'm like, I can remember this. Like they was playing, "Who you with? Who you with?" Yeah. Ooh, that's like that's my favorite song. To the yeah. flow, to the flow, to the flow. I party. That's that's <laughs> what that, that's what you see right now. That's what yeah. you party. And that's my friends <laughs> in the background saying, "Hey, hey." Hey, hey, that's what's going on. That's what's, that, explain that post. That is what's happening right now. That's what's oh up. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my so, God, Rob, go. I, I got to do it. I got to do it. I picked the post that, I picked the post that people least expect. <laughs> so, so I'm glad that that, so would you, so would you say that anybody that look at this post, that post right there just explains your energy? That is me. That's me. That's everywhere yeah. I go. I've never met a stranger. I'm yeah. always down to have a good time. Yeah. Hey, point me to the dance floor. That's me right now. <laughs> and that's exactly why I picked it. So <laughs> with so with this uh, next post and everything, I know that this post is very important to you, but I actually want you to explain how important this post is. Okay. Explain. Oh, hey, sugar. <laughs> so those two guys belong to me. Mm -hmm. Um, the one standing up, that is the Quan, he is 19, the one sitting down, that is the Sean, that is my 16 soon to be 17 year old. Those were our Christmas pictures from last year. So I have this big thing 
about Christmas pictures now. And like, I make it a big like production. They know like, hey, be in place. We doing Christmas pictures. And yeah. that was our Christmas pictures from last year. That's nice. That's nice. I, I, and the, re the, reason, the reason I pick these two well, because I do see that you do talk about your sons a lot. Mm -hmm. And I know that they mean so much to you. So, you know, I just want to say congratulations. We're like, like you're raising two great kings. Well, thank you. So, you know, congratulations on that. And happy, and happy belated Mother's Day as well. Well, thank you. Everybody just watch a happy belated Mother Mother's Day. And thank you for tuning in to the Learn Me While I Sip show once again. So I got one more post. Oh, Lord. I got one more. Explain <laughs> what's going on here. That is me in China. Mm -hmm. That was me the second time. So I went to China last year in November. And then I went again this year in January. I actually was in China. I made it back home on January, I think, the 11th or 12th. And the next day, they announced that the whole coronavirus thing had broke out in Wuhan. Um, I was in Guangzhou. Guangzhou is about 10 hours away from Wuhan, so it hadn't quite reached that area of China yet. But yeah. it was there quickly after we had just got back home. So that was me working in China. Um, we were out at the market. Mm -hmm. Um... That's me making some money, child. That's what that is right there. That's it, all the way in there. All the way. So all the way. So in other words, what you're saying to the people is that you the plug. You know, I can get you what you need, you know, for a low price. Now you call it what you want. I'm gonna let you name it, but I can get you what you need, okay? <laughs> Silk's wine. Look, you know what's crazy. <laughs> you know what's crazy is that <laughs> like our voices can we can have a whole conversation by using one word mm -hmm. and depending on the pitch of the word that we it use it changes it no and, and and we ain't got we ain't got to ask no questions we we already know you get it you get it yeah yeah we 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 get it and you ain't even answer the question i asked you <laughs> you the plug and all you said was you know but i get it you I know and i put that you know <laughs> There it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! There it is. Well, that was fun. No, that was I know. Really, really fun. I know. Oh, we ain't done yet. Oh God! We is not done yet. <gasps> but that is. Rob but Cole, that, that three pictures now. Yeah, that that's it for that you second. You got me sweating so, so. over here. I don't know if it's you or the wine. <laughs> Probably both. But that's okay. So 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 uh, that's it for the for the um, uh, explain explain that post. Okay. Uh, segment on the show. The next segment is uh, me pretty much asking you a question of the day that I feel like that's important. What does okay. su what does success mean for you? Oh God, <sighs> success to me means being able to do whatever I want to do when I want to do it, and that means if I want to help someone get a house built, I can. If I want to help someone start a business, I can. If I want to start, open up another spa in Georgia, I can. If I want to go on vacation in Europe for two weeks, I can. If I, success to me means living life on my own terms. Success for everybody is always going to be different. What I think success is might be different from what you think success is. I think it's the thing that you have to figure out for yourself. And for me, it's being able to do what I want to do when I want to do it. Right. Exactly. Exactly. That's good. That's good. And a lot a lot of people a lot of people would never really get to experience that because I mean some you know everybody's different, you know, some mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. you know, you know, what whatever, but just to just to be able to get to that point to where you can say that you you've experienced it, mm -hmm. it's a it's a lovely thing. This is it's a different thing, and it's a thing that I'm I'm trying to teach that to my kids because nobody taught it to me. Right. Nobody knew. Nobody knew then to teach it to me. So it's a thing of like a lot of for us. I don't know how old you are, but I'm 38, and. Um, you know, nobody knew to teach that to me. <laughs> so, you know, it's a thing of like, I learned it at a later age, 
and I'm trying to teach it to my children at an earlier age so they don't have yeah. to go through some of the same things that I did. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, said, I said the same thing. And I'm I'm 27. I turn, I turn 28 next month. Oh, Jesus. June, June 28, I turn 28. So that's that's my year. Oh, a whole 27, huh? Hmm. And I'm right here almost 40. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> but you know, being this age, like, I always say, and I say to people a lot, like, I wish I would have went to esthetician school when I was fresh out of high school. I wish I would have learned this, this, this. Everything happens when it's supposed to happen. Everything happens for a reason. The things that are happening to me now, I would not have been able to handle at 28 years old. Mm. Like, I would not have been able to handle when my kids were nine and seven. Like, I would not have been able to, like, there was no way I wasn't ready. Yeah. I wasn't ready. And I think a lot of people have to accept that. Like, sometimes you think that things are supposed to be happening. You're not ready. Right. So right. now I'm I'm more mature. So, so I know how to prepare myself better now for things yet to come. That I didn't know that then. Right. Right. Um, you did you did you did kind of tell on yourself a little bit when you did that uh when you did that quick uh -huh. I heard it. I heard it. But um Ang Angus Angus say Angus said nothing else about it though. But I, 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 I pick I pick up what you're putting down. <laughs> so um so this next segment of the show is called the Big Ten. And I feel like the Big Ten is a crowd favorite because they also themselves like to get involved with it to where as I ask you the questions people that's watching you can uh write down in the comments what's your answer so with the big 10 i just throw a series of questions to you you get to choose either or and they, they're just random questions so okay. uh, you, you just tell me yours also to everybody that's uh watching feel uh, uh write down in the comments what your answer is too all right so are you ready i'm ready all right so number one chocolate chips or oreos Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. Uh, Sprite or ginger ale? Ooh, Sprite. He's hard. <laughs> Judge Joe Brown or Judge Judy? Joe Brown. Judge Brown. Uh, matte finish nails or glossy finish? Glossy. Butter pecan ice cream or salted caramel? Oh, butter pecan. Butter pecan, baby. Butter pecan. See, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I, I know that that's a, I know that that's a woman's favorite, but I gotta find another one that's like right there with it. It ain't nothing like butter pecan. You gonna have to take butter pecan out the, out the, it's can't be a choice. So, it's gotta be butter pecan. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. I'm a, I'm gonna find one person that's gonna that's gonna go the other way though. Oh wow! It's gonna be somebody. <laughs> it might it might be somebody in the in the comments if they tell the truth. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't uh, know about that. Uh, bathe in the tub or take a shower. 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 Watch YouTube or listen to music. Music. Hmm. Uh. Pizza or hamburger? My God, Ralph, you're going for the juggler. I'm going to go with... <sighs> See, let me tell you, I don't eat pork, right? I don't partake in swine. And it ain't pizza. nothing in the world like a pepperoni pizza. So since I haven't eaten pork in about four or five years, I just have not found a pizza that give me that same feeling as pepperoni because I am a pizza girl. But it ain't a pizza in the world like a pepperoni pizza. Try, try chicken and pineapple. See that pineapple thing, like. Just try it. I'm telling you. I, uh, okay, I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna let you know. But I'm gonna roll with right now. I'm gonna roll with a, 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 a Angus beef burger. Angus beef burger. See, I don't, I don't need no red meat at all. Okay. I don't need no red meat at all. Uh, uh, brown, brownie <coughs> bites or cookie dough. Cookie dough. McDonald's or Wendy's. McDonald's. All right. Now for this last one. Uh, you got to answer it, but be careful because I might, I might put you on the spot. Um, sing or dance and why? 
Uh, <laughs> um, both. It depends on where I'm at. So I love music. I love all types of music. So it depends on the situation because I love to sing even though I can't. And I love to dance. I'm going to go with singing. You go with singing? You can go with singing? You going to ask me to sing? I can't sing. Oh, I don't mind. I will get on here and tear it up now. And that's exactly ahead, what I'm going to do. The floor is yours. Go ahead. Come on. Give me something. I, let, let's we'll do do it. <clears throat> what we singing? Uh, rolling by rolling <laughs> on the river. Left a good job down in the city, working for the man every night and day. But I never lost one minute of sleep, and I was worried about the way things might have been. Okay, huh. big wheels keep on turning. Burning, proud Mary, keep on burning, and we're rolling, 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 yeah, rolling, rolling on a river, on a river. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, all right. Look, look, you don't got in trouble. <laughs> that was my son. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. That's my son. Uh, well, sure, I appreciate that. A lot of people, a lot of people won't do it. A lot of people won't do it, but this is an exclusive show. Anyway, you don't, <laughs> you don't, you don't made it exclusive, so that is. That we that don't is. our wine. We don't want us to do it. I know. And that's it. We in there. We in there. So, so real quick, we got eight minutes left. Okay. Uh, for the for the last for the last segment. I feel like this is this is a important segment not only for the guests but also for other people that's watching to see and also see that you know it's really all about just being yourself and showing your personality. Mm -hmm. And this one is called the elevator speech. Oh, so with the elevator speech, I give you one minute for, and I've got to uh, put you in a in a scenario, and within that scenario, you tell me exactly what it is that you will say. Ralph, okay. oh, this is like a job interview. Well, it's, just, it's just all about having fun. That's it. You know, that's it. All right. So the scenario, let's say you're going to a big city, Florida, New York, L.A., uh, Atlanta, or wherever, and you're going up to a huge corporate building to the 50th floor. You're going there for a big meeting. So mm -hmm. you go into the building, you go into the elevator right before the elevator door closes, a multimillionaire walks into the elevator and it's only you and that multimillionaire. What is it that you will say? to that multi-millionaire, whether it's a man or a woman, in order to get that person to invest into your company? Elevator speech. We're on the first floor, the door is closing. Bam. Hello, my name is Anthony Stinson, and I'm the owner of the Glam Beauty Bar down in Jacksonville, Florida, where I specialize in corrective skin care for African-American skin. The reason why I chose to specialize in corrective skincare is because a lot of people have low self-esteem and they don't even know it because they have bad skin. I think that you, and I wouldn't tell them that I think they should invest in my company, but you know, I have a lot of great products and a lot of great services that I specialize in to help people to feel better. Because I think that when you feel better, when you look good, it makes you feel better. Um, oh God, Ralph, this is hard. Um, what am I telling you? Um, oh, the elegant on the 30th flow, Jesus. Um, I'm exclusive for African Americans because you can't go anywhere and find this kind of stuff. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> oh, Jesus. It was. The elevator was on the 30th floor. I'm panicking now. Ralph, I'm in a panic. I am in a panic. I am in a panic. I love what I do for women. I also treat men. Um, I let men know who think that, you know, skincare is not a thing that is a big priority. I let them know that it's okay to come get skincare treatments and to make themselves feel good as well. Currently opening up my second location. Um, I've grown this business from zero to about twenty thousand dollars a month, monthly, in over in just over a year. And I think that this will be a great opportunity for us to team up to each other, so you can learn more about my business. Ding! We off the elevator, Ralph. Whoo! Jesus. I 
Couldn't you have got me over here sweating. <laughs> Look, he, here's what here's what you just did. Here's what you just did. You you did this. Everybody that's watching and everything, okay. you just gained some clientele. You just sold people on your product and your brand. You just allowed for someone else to look at their elevator speech and be like, you know what? I'm thinking too much into it. All I got to do is be confident in whatever it is that I'm doing. Because people see how them. confident you are. And like I said at the beginning of the show, everybody see how amazing you are. And that's the whole you. point. That's the whole point of being a guest on Learn Me While I Sip is for me to let people know how amazing you are. And you well, did it. Thank you, time. thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad I could show up and show out. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. I appreciate it once again. So for, for our last couple of minutes, is there anything you would like to ask of me? Um uh, what do I want to ask of you? I think I know you done did this master's program in Seattle. You're moving back to North Carolina, um, to North Kakalaki. Uh, what part of North Carolina? Uh, when I moved back, I'm going to Raleigh, but I'm going to uh, transition to Charlotte. Okay, okay. Uh, my girl, um, Serving Faces, is in Charlotte. Serving Faces Spa, she's in Charlotte. Um, she, she, was a, she was a guest. Okay. Yeah, she's in Charlotte. I know in North Carolina. I think that's about it. I don't think I have any questions or anything. This I've had an awesome time. Like this is this has been very good. I've had an awesome time. I'm glad that you invited me on. And mm -hmm. sip me a little wine. I think I'm gonna sip a little more. <laughs> um, but as you can see, like like I don't really need no wine. Like this is this is this is where I am. Like that's I show up like this everywhere I go. It's crazy. I know. That's good. I tell you what. I never been to Florida. But the first time that I do go, I do definitely want to meet you. And then also, too, when we can actually start, like, uh, uh, being together again, I do. I would love to come down and shoot a live uh, episode that with you in person. Oh, most definitely. Thank you. I look forward to it. For sure. I appreciate it. And uh, thank thank everybody for tuning in and everything. Is, is there any last words you'd like to say to the people? Um. Don't forget to sign up for my classes. Dermal Planner will be on the 24th. Um, Chemical Bill will be on the 31st. If you have any questions about those classes, just send me a message. We can get something set up. Um, if those dates don't work for you, I also do one-on-one -on -one classes. So keep that in mind. Perfect. And this episode will be uploaded on my YouTube page, uh, Skin with Ralph Cole. So, and I'm, I'm going to uh, send you the link to whenever, uh, whenever it is uploaded. Okay. So then, like, if it's anyone that you would like to show the episode to, you can just send them the link. Okay. Cool, cool. Thank y'all, everybody. Everybody have a good day. Happy belated Mother's Day. And Thank make sure y'all stay safe. All right. Good night. Good night.